You know, there are times when this one episode a day format really bugs me, but it's cool. We're gonna know where all of this was going tomorrow. But in the meantime, It Could Have Been Great starts with Steven and the Crystal Gems taking a well-deserved break after a hard day's work. However, Peridot seems to think that this is a waste of time because of impending doom and stuff. But then Steven gets her wrapped up into an impromptu song and they just end up finishing the drill the next day. And the last thing that they need are directions to the cluster. So the Crystal Gems hitch a ride on Lion to a Diamond Moon base. And there, they're able to check out the original plans for the colony. And well, the Crystal Gems were not digging this scheme to kill off all life on Earth. Okay, what we have here is one half of what could be a great episode. But unlike, say, Mirror Gem and Ocean Gem, It Could Have Been Great is meant to be seen along with Message Received. Let's start by looking at the song. The music in Steven Universe can be kinda hit or miss. For every giant woman or strong in the real way, we get something like Destiny. And frankly, this song is just okay. If not for the novelty of Peridot singing for the first time, this song wouldn't really be noteworthy. We also find out some interesting information about the diamonds and their plan for Earth. One of the coolest details is a map of the planet and the gem structures that got built. Even if we count the two kindergartens in North America, the Sea Spire, the Galaxy Warp, the Antenna, the Sky Arena, that underwater thing, and that crazy upside-down pyramid, there are still multiple gem structures we haven't seen yet. And the continents are kind of interestingly shaped in the Stevenverse. It Could Have Been Great also has a couple of intriguing mysteries. The first is some sort of levitating ball, kept on the second floor of the moon base. I have no idea what this thing could be. The other is a crystal that Peridot grabs from the command chair of the base. This is probably something like Yellow Diamond's secret diary, or control codes for her army of giant enemy crabs. Or a complete red herring. You don't really know. Whatever it is, we'll find out tomorrow. So, in the end, as a setup episode, It Could Have Been Great really doesn't stand up on its own. But there may be great things in store, especially if YD herself puts in an appearance. So, for that reason, I give It Could Have Been Great an automatic recommendation. Now be sure and come back tomorrow for my review of Steven Universe, Message Received. And if you're interested in more reviews of anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out my channel on YouTube at StupidPrivate913. Or find my Facebook and DeviantArt pages for video updates and more. Thank you for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.